Greetings, mortals. Bring the Barlow here. And I'm doing just a little bit of co-op with my buddy Nance because... A, this boss really doesn't matter in my opinion. I agree. You know, it just does having, not. Just having some fun with my buddy. Yeah. And it's been fun. Oh, it has been. It's been funny watching me get grabbed and ate and then same to you. <laughs> it's just funny to watch. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to try leading with that frost attack to slow him down and then swap to my... Uh, oh, yeah. Whatever. Just be as complicated yep. as possible. You know what I mean? Right. Well, I mean, when you slow him down, man, um, it lets me wallop him with my slash attacks. So. Yeah, I noticed that. It's just a scary thing to go into the menu while fighting this guy. <laughs> oh, yes, because it only takes one save for him to kill you. <laughs> it's true. Don't you grab me. Woo, I thought he did it oh. for a second. That was a lovely time to come through the door. <laughs> oh my lord. He is very mad right now, bruh. Right. I got the frost on him. I got the swap done, boy. Well, he tried to grab me. I noticed. We got this, bro. Right. Yeah. We gotta be careful, he's about to do that move. Oh, I forgot about it. I'm full HP again, though. Oh, I'm out of stamina. Got him with a little heavy attack here for a second. Woo! Thank you, big shield. Let's go! <laughs> Stop trying to the... grab me. Yeah, quit grabbing my friend. <laughs> there oh, it there is. There's the... yep, I'm yep, trying yep, to stop. Yep. Oh. I'm going to use this time to drink, too. Yep. Yeah, he's got invincibility frames that you do that for a little bit. For a second, yeah, there. Oh. Oh, oh no, I got a connection there. Good luck, buddy. It's sending me back. This is explosion. I was able to block it. You got it, buddy. I don't know why it took me away, but it did. Oh, he almost grabbed me. I can't roll through that fire, bro. Ah, and he slammed me. So close. No. It, it, it keeps disconnecting me, man. Every time we were about to win. <laughs> it did that with Focal. That's weird. I, and I don't know what it is. I don't think it's anything on my end. My internet's fine and everything. I think it's just something to do with Elden Ring uh, yeah, servers. Just Elden Ring stuff. It's okay. I want to waste some of these items anyway, you know? All right. You keep you keep that, putting that it was right game. on top of another like Oh. Oh, oops. <laughs> I, I not... can't tell that knows what's bad. I know, I know. <laughs> it's just funny. Oh, my game just froze from you summoning me. Oh boy. Again. Give it Blue to ring me. of death. You're showing yeah, uh, You're showing still as a summon, so you're good right now. Yeah. Why are you like this game? Don't ruin fun. Fun alert. <laughs> fun alert. It's hilarious. That's a joke I always make when something happens when you're trying to do something with somebody. Right. <laughs> and the game crashes. Yeah, my game just crashed. Again? Oh my god. No, that, uh, uh, no, that was my first one. I actually didn't uh, crash the first time. No. I'm coming back. Weird. So weird. It's something with multiplayer, man. I don't know what it is. It's something with multiplayer that makes the game crash. Well, I'm glad everybody that's summoning in for these important bosses are having such a hard time. <laughs> 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 yeah because like um every time like every time i've co-op like every time we uh, like it's the run that the boss is just going to get downed as long as i'm able to stay connected it's like nope you get out basically Dang. <laughs> that was a that was a good run too oh th he would have been dead if <laughs> we both were still there for sure all right, I'm back. All right, now. 
Do not put on top of other sign. Oh, you, you don't want to worry about it. Not that big a deal. <laughs> I just moved it to see if it helped. It was just going to be like under your feet. That pinpoint accuracy of mine. To be on this <laughs> oh, if I use it again, it cancels me looking for it. That's why I was having problems earlier. If I use mm. that little finger thing twice, it gives me it back and doesn't consume it. I gotcha. That makes more sense. Good old jolly cooperation. There we go. Ooh, hey, you know what I could do? I forgot. I have other spells that I'm just not using. <laughs> Ooh. Let's try this spell. It's probably not going to do a whole lot, but we're going to see. Use the slap your mama spell. Oh, yes. I am starting with the frost attack, so if you want to mm. lead with your best stuff, go for it. I don't know if it's going to be best stuff or not. We're just going to find out, though. <laughs> okay, so not leading with best stuff. <laughs> well, Lisa. these attacks do decent damage to certain ones, but like I don't know to this guy because it's lightning damage. Oh, yeah, lightning wasn't doing a whole lot. Oh, it's fun. To... Okay, can't roll up. He's trying to grab me as soon as I walk into the door. Rude. Yeah, that didn't. That did nothing. <laughs> All right, I got him frozen. Coming back in for the blood attacks. Gotta be careful. Oh, he's yep. done the big move. Oh, yeah, got he me. got me. I got hit with the Scarlet Rock portion. Yeah, you were stuck in a corner there. Oof. Yeah. I basically got bounced off the wall and thrown back. <laughs> <laughs> it happens, man. That that they, these uh these guys are vicious, man. Just it takes one slip and they got you every time. I actually feel like he's harder with co-op, funny enough. Oh, I mean, he probably has more health, I would say. It feels like it, but I can't tell because, like, it's so chaotic. Like, before we could tell it was, like, 15k health, and now it's, like, oh like, yeah, I can't really tell. Well, together as a unit, from what I saw just then, we hit together about 6k on him, and it didn't even do half as health <laughs> as a unit. I don't know. There's, Got still, there's still more research needs to be done in the game to find out what all the numbers and stuff is. Because your sword still stacks bleed even without the bleed no, enchantment, right? Not, no, no, no. Nope. Oh, oh, okay. Cannot bleed without the bleed enchantment. No. It's just raw damage on that uh, effect. I could go to bleed and help stack bleed, though. Nice. It'll be alright. Stick to your build. Right there, we did 8k damage and look at his health bar. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, basically. That was 9k right there. Oh, oh no crap. Oh, he got me. I oh, tried to roll you, it. Dang. Yeah. You got it, though. I was in a move that I couldn't roll with. That's that's the like biggest struggle in my build. When I start tagging, I can't stop. We did too much damage too quick. Hang on. Half health. <laughs> Oh, he did the explosion on me. And I, I, see, there, there, the explosion gets me sometimes because I think he's doing the breath attack. Like, mm -hmm. doing the little shotgun burst of fire. And it's actually him gearing up and ready to explode, you know? Yeah. I need to put my bubble shield on, like, for my little special flask. Because I got one where I basically take no damage from one hit. And it usually saves me from that blast if I can't move. You know what? I'm going to put the non-physical damage negation thing on real fast. See if that works. Yeah. Poisoning hmm. a rot in the vicinity increases my attack. Let's try that. Yeah, he's spreading more rot everywhere. Or do you have to be... I don't know. I really don't know. Okay. I'm actually kind of curious if you have to stand in it. That's probably what it needs to be, or just be affected by it, you know? Hmm. 
I think it'd be better if you're just affected by it. Are you playing on PC? I am. And just as a little note, I don't condone summoning for first playthroughs. We just don't look at this bit, this particular boss as like important. And me and him's been wanting to co-op a little bit. So we're just having a little bit of fun. But welcome as a first time viewer. Genuinely. Oh, yes, yes. Welcome. I just got done uh, beating Red Radon. Is how you say his name? Yeah, Radon. Radon. Did it solo with no summons. So we're doing a uh, little co-op here together just to have a little bit of fun. Better than me. I don't really count mine as solo. I did kill him solo, but it was after all the summons died. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But I have a general excuse because I enjoyed the setting. Oh, no, I no, was no, doing no. Really too much. Yeah, yeah, you're totally <laughs> fine, man. Oh, ow. Ooh, that was painful, I could tell. Yeah, I, I never can dodge that attack because, um, oh gosh, he's going for a grab. See, that was the, that was the breath attack. I get it confused for the explosion. I'm going to back off and swap to the hammer. Yeah. Oh, nope, not yet. Yeah, we're getting him close to that explosion range. Just watch out for it. Yeah, I want to get the hammer. He's about to do it. Yep. I was far enough away where it didn't matter. Oh, ow, that hurt. I got the frost on him. We got that beautiful frost on him now. Woo! He tried to get me toes. Got to get me some more uh, health up real quick. I need a very... Oh, oh this is the explosion. Hang in there, I buddy. Survived it. We're good. I was in a very bad spot for it, though. I know you could tell. Yeah, I was. I was scared for Oh, I got to stop. This is the moment. Uh, I want to try to get him. Uh oh, there yep. we go. Hey, that was awesome. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> Digital Ooh. high five real quick. Boom. <laughs> yeah, it's like, boom. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Bruh. Nah, that's that's really fun. The co-op for some of this stuff is, is hilariously fun. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm glad we got And I think they did a good job with the difficulty, too, on it to make it to where it's not as easy. Yeah. To be honest. Sure. Like it. Ah. This but, first one. Oh, yeah. I wanted to read that real quick. Uh, Elden Ring is my first Dark Souls series, and I'm really enjoying it, but I'm still learning. So, the the misconceptions. So, I've, I've got 3,000 hours on Dark Souls 1. <laughs> like, I've, I've, I've literally watched... 40, 50 people play the game for the first time and gotten the game for several people. I'm one of those people that go out and try to spread the experience of Souls games. Um, there's some misconceptions because this game is brand new and, you know, a lot of new faces are coming into it and a lot of misinformed people are starting to talk about the game and um, stats matter but not in the early game. Like, do not focus on your stats early on. You, you don't have to ruin farm you don't have to do a lot of the stuff that people are saying you have to do. The thing you want to focus on is weapon upgrades. Like, go to your mines, go on your map, look look where the mines are, get all of your resources at those mines, upgrade them at a blacksmith. Upgrade a good weapon at your blacksmith. Pick whatever weapon you want, for the most part, that fits your kind of play style. For me, it's, you know, long swords and a, and a great shield. That's what I've been rocking lately. And, and just upgrade that weapon. Focus on damage. Health does not matter nearly as much as people think it is. It is all about that endurance, that stamina. Your ability to block, roll, and then do an attack is so much more superior than you taking one more hit. Because even in the late game, three hits and you're dead, two hits and you're dead, one hit and you're dead. That is basically the same thing there. Being able to roll more avoids taking those hits being able to block more avoids taking those hits blocking and rolling is your hp and while that takes a while to get used to it is very easily done you can anybody can learn it i promise dancing with bosses is is so much fun and anything nance wants to add to that 
Ah, I mean, you've covered pretty much anything I would say, to be honest. If you're running two-handed dual weapons and you're relying just on dodge, that uh, that it's makes rough. the game a whole lot tougher. Yes, I wouldn't recommend doing that as a first playthrough. Yeah. That that's about all I'll add. And everything's viable. Like, there's not a you need to use this weapon to beat the game. Like, you need to use this this build to beat the game. Like, that's just that's stupid. Like, you no oh, yes. this game with daggers. Like, just go play the game. <laughs> you can you can you can literally win by punching. It just might take you ages to do it. Yeah. It's not a hard game. It's different, and and what I like to say is is challenging. Basically, I uh, I level my endurance first, and then I level my stats to give me more damage, and then I level my health. And basically, my build is done at this point. Like, I'm happy with 32 strength. I can use my crossbow at 16, so I'm happy with my dexterity. Um, I would almost respec because I don't think I'm going to use magic anymore. Honestly, I, I don't think I'm going to touch magic anymore. I actually want to go see if I have another respec thingy to. Can you see that in your inventory? Where would it be at? Yeah, the larva tears. They look like brains, like blue brains. Like a certain place at that though. Mm. Let me see. I have some on my inventory. I can tell you which category they're in. Let's see. It's not there. It's in the keys. keys, keys, keys. I got Great Ruin of the Unborn. It should be with your Dragon Hearts. Find your Dragon Hearts, and it's in the area with them. Okay, so I don't have any other ones. Hmm. Yeah, I have four on me. You'll get them eventually. Interesting. Sure do got a lot of cookbooks. Hey, man, you got cooked by the book. <laughs> you know what I'm going to do for the rest of this episode? I'm going to go to the Erd Tree things and start collecting some of those uh, things to see what I can turn my Wondrous Mixer into. Oh, yeah. Um, the one I'm using, which is not great. The the one I recommend, but at the same time, I mean, it, it's it's just, it's basically a, a get out of jail free card. Uh, the, the one I use, it puts a bubble around you, and the first hit done on you by the boss or just anybody, it does basically no damage to just minimum damage but after that they're back to being able to tear you up but how long um, does it last though is the question until you get hit from what i saw it's got um, a good long period of time then yeah i mean in a boss fight you know uh time feels like an eternity while you're sitting there fighting so i'm not sure but there's ways for me to test it though is what matters hmm and the other one I'm using, which is not great, I slowly regen health. I'm just using it just because, I mean, it, it might be the difference between me dying and me living with that extra little tick of healing. Yeah. I'm just thinking I'm I might here, man. upgrade my stuff where I can use a couple more blood slashes before having to fill back up, because I'm noticing in boss fights I'm starting to like run out of blood slashes you know yeah it's where they're getting tankier man them bosses get pretty tanky after a while oh yeah i can feel that like just when, when you start hitting like because me and you like even then it put me in all me and you as a team hitting almost close to 10k damage as a unit and that boss's hail still didn't move as much as i thought it should is still yeah. like good lord basically <laughs> like i said i feel like there's more hp when you're co-oping is the idea oh yeah there, there's most definitely is but like even when i was playing solo some of the bosses still felt that way though is the problem for me let's take but this episode to kill some trees <laughs> go annihilate the tree man yeah it's time to uh undo everything mr beast has done for the world Oh, 
Oh, you got little markers you can use too. Like where you've seen something. I just noticed that on the map. Like little marker thingies. Oh yeah. Yeah. Like you can put like a skull or like a treasure chest thingy or whatever. Mark like, I guess you could like mark your um, shopkeepers and stuff. Yeah, me and Boba, we played a ton of Tarkov yesterday, man. I went from like 1 a.m. to 3 a.m. with it. Oh, yeah. Uh, I saw y'all were still playing it when I got off because uh, I've been having a really fun uh, Kislev campaign on Warhammer, and I just happened to look at Discord. I'm like, dang, they're still going. They're grinding. We had a great time. It was fun. Oh, yes. Um, I had a wonderful moment in it, and that's why I was bringing it up. I got to... Uh, basically sacrifice myself to keep him alive essentially um without needing to know much about the game we were on the mall map the interchange map and mm. uh there's one of the exits that is at the back of the map and uh we were going through it and uh, we looked left down the road and there was two chads in full gear armor and i i just in that split second i go run for the exit don't think about it and he starts running for the exit and I go down there and I just turn and I just start unloading my pistol onto these chads and um the I killed one of the chads and then the the other guy came up and he was just about to get real close to Boba and uh, I just start spamming the pistol again to like get his uh attention and Boba exits and I just get blasted with an SMG <laughs> <laughs> I literally distracted the Chad and, and saved his life. Yeah, buddy. If he had looked left, he would have killed Boba. <laughs> Oof. It was that close. It was. It was. I'm it was assuming like, he had some good cargo on him and uh, probably an objective to stay alive, right? I'm assuming. Yeah. It was, he had a quest to get out of interchange and stuff, though. So. Ah. And had a whole bunch of stuff on him. Oh yes. They ain't allowed to catch the loot goblin. <laughs> oh lord the amount of damage I just dealt yeah some of those trees you're gonna just breeze through <laughs> at this point good thing they can be annoying if you ain't upgraded man they're they're pretty yeah. brutal <laughs> never <laughs> underestimate them though because as soon as you do you'll die oh yeah the ones with the rod are the absolute worst out of them though Oh yeah, no doubt. And I'll be fighting a bunch of them pretty soon too. Oh yes. Hey, I think I got the one that you were talking about. It's the bubble tier. Yep. That that one's very useful. I do recommend putting that one in. But it's up to you. You know, it just depends on the, everybody's perspective. Oh gosh. Well, I just got smacked off a ledge. <laughs> significantly negates damage it's pretty cool Can you yeah it's just like a hmm? more wondrous drink mm, not that i discovered it's a one-time use each right. time uh, you're not at a grace I guess me personally here, um the best combo i've seen with it is uh one that refills your health halfway and then the bubble because, like, as soon as you're half health, instead of, you know, because, like, hey, okay, you taught me, you know, if you're at half health, you probably should top off on certain bosses, right? Um, yep. uh, that, that, uh, that's, like, basically a free drink, and plus you get a, uh, ex uh shield absorption for, uh, one hit. Yeah. And it tops you off. Kind of cool. Yeah, I've got but, the one that heals me to ha with a half, whatever half of my HP is, so it's like a 50% regen no matter what. Yep. Yeah. Oh, there's a grace down here. Because, uh, uh, I ain't gonna lie, that bubble uh, caused me to live in that uh, in that fight we just did as a as a group. Oh, I, I saw it a couple of times, bro. Yeah. I was wondering what it was, but I just chalked it up to something that I didn't know what it was. 
No, no, it was the uh, the bubble. It, it, it's main. The only reason why I'm using is because where my builds require me to be so stationary, the boss is just going to hit me. You know what I mean? So that that makes it useful for a free uh, wombo combo on them, basically for me. I just realized why my great shield's so good. What's that? You know how I've been looking for a crest shield that could like, you know. Is it the is it the crest shield? It's got seventy two percent magic reduction. Oh. I never could get that one to drop for me because I saw the mob that you had that dropped it and I never could get it to drop. That arcane, man. Arcane's useless. Don't level it. <laughs> arcane's awesome, buddy. I've had a lot of fun with it. <laughs> everybody on uh, Reddit and everything. Don't use it. It's useless. Yeah, like everybody's like dogged arcane. That's why I went hard into it at the early part. I mean, finding items can be just as useful as having extra stats and decks or something, in my opinion. Having a higher bleed increase helps too. That true. Another point. Because I can only imagine, you know, like me, I could be sitting there for 30 minutes to an hour trying to get that shield from that one guy and you're just over here cackling like, <laughs> First time I killed him, he gave it to me. <laughs> Literally, yeah. Uh, what, what's so funny to me is the um, the wiki link that uh, Xanifer sent me for the brass shield said that it would take me about 235 like kills to get it. I've gotten like four this whole playthrough and got it like in like 10 minutes, like nowhere near that. I don't know whoever wrote that. Man, they have some really poor luck if that really took them that many times. <laughs> Yeah, it, it they had low arcana, but like low arcana yeah, build, true. man. They didn't they didn't run a high arcane about. No, probably not. Well, even me, like I'm not running high arcane on my main build, and uh, I got like two, I believe, through my entire playthrough. But I killed a lot of soldiers at one point, so maybe yeah. maybe it did take me that long without me realizing it. My arcane's garbage now, but I mean, really you got your build anymore. now, so you're not worried about it. Pretty much. I'm sure there's some really cool other things in the game that I'm, you know, missing, but... That's what other playthroughs are for. The beautiful yeah. thing. <laughs> I'm going to be doing me a whip build uh, on my next character. I don't know if I'll ever run a whip build. <laughs> I'm, I'm doing it for a reason. It's... I'm, I'm, I'm basically making my girlfriend's character and her favorite weapon's a whip. She, oh. she never played Dark Souls, but... She requested me to do it on Dark Souls 3, but Dark Souls 3 whips are, yeah, awful, but I want to try them on here to see if they're good. It's practically another bleed build out of all honesty, in my opinion, but... Yeah. I found the big bell one this time. What I need to do is see if I can find where the catacomb is around this tree, because there's a catacomb like under every tree. You know, oh, now I that know. I think about it, after you just said that, it you're right, actually. <laughs> I didn't well, ever think about that. Those dudes that are pointing, right? They always say, um, for those that seek the root of the tree. And I'm like, okay, so somewhere near the root of the tree. Makes sense. I feel like I should read more. <laughs> it's it's easy to just ignore stuff, man. Yeah. But um I didn't know anything about Dark Souls 1 until I started like watching YouTubers explain lore and like Right. what the quest lines are for the characters and stuff. Like, I didn't even know there was quest lines for characters, you know? Mm hmm That's just a fancy summon sign. Weird. Or fancy um, message. There is, at one point, if, if I realize that you haven't uh, done certain things and you reach that point before you do it, I will stop you that way you don't make the same mistake i did mainly because you'll miss out on some bosses if i don't stop you 
<laughs> Basically. I mean, it's okay. not trying to spoil it, but... Um... I made a mistake and I made it twice on both my playthroughs. And I finally figured it out. I was like, oh my gosh, I'm so stupid. <laughs> So there's like a, a bad decision or something, like yes or no question. Oh, or it's or just progressing too far too fast. That's a better way of putting it. I mean, I feel like I've already done that. <laughs> no, no, you haven't. Not yet. Um, it's pretty very, very late into the game, but I, I, I don't know why I didn't uh, explore the places that I need to. <laughs> Bro, you be, you be staying late in the game all the time, and I feel like I'm far into the game. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> hers a lot, man. There I ain't he is. joking. I found him. Mr. Pointy Man, tell me where to go. Oh, you're pretty far in the uh, the main part of it, but there's like a lot of side stuff that you've missed a few of. Oh, I ain't worried about the side stuff this playthrough. Oh, okay. I'm well, just... then, again, then I won't stop you then. <laughs> I'm... I'm... I'm doing my first playthrough naturally, unhindered, and without knowing what is all here in the game. Fair enough. That's the point to a blind playthrough. Wherever I end up <laughs> going is my natural progression of this game and is my experience for the first playthrough. I want it to be organic Indeed. is what I'm trying to get at. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I understand that. I don't know. I was just wanting you to be able to experience those bosses. That was my mindset. I wasn't trying to stop your blind playthrough. I play will through. eventually experience them, oh, yeah. no matter what. You know, I'm going to beat everything in this game Indeed. eventually. I'm not worried about it now. It was good intentions in my mindset, but you made it uh, yeah. a good point of what I was trying to do. I, I entirely understand what you're trying to do. Because I, I also, you know, you know, I did it with Calamite with other people, you know. Oh, Calamite. Such a beautiful boss that a lot of people skip. <laughs> yep. I probably oh, like, would have skipped it too if you didn't tell me, probably, odds are. Yeah, and that's kind of the situation here. Like, it's something that if I couldn't have known about it, I won't know about it. It's the way I want it to be right now. Right. I have no problem having a second playthrough be a very fun experience <laughs> of oh, discovery. <yes. laughs> and a lot more open of us uh, doing stuff together as well, and having oh, yeah. goofy fun. Maybe some PvP down the line so that way I can get smashed because I suck at PvP. Oh, I'm 100% PvPing quite often after I get done. I still love my first experience with PvP. I walked in, died. <laughs> there was no, there was no chance basically that's for the, me. That's the majority of people's PvP, man. Don't feel bad about it. Yeah. Well, like I fought well against him. Like he was having trouble, like hitting me. But I hit him once, and I was using my alt character with that katana. And I'm like, ah, combo! And he just kind of looked at me like, bruh, and then just slapped me one time, and I died. <laughs> yeah, that's how it's supposed to be. Yeah. Because once you hit that uh, let me invade people button, you want your build to be as like efficient as possible at killing. So every time you get invaded and you're rattling pets, thank you. I found one of the, 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 oh, yes. Oh, I'm so happy I found one of these. What you find? Oh, what are they called in Dark Souls 1? I'm completely blanking on it. Um, thank you. Oh, oh yeah, the uh, the emote, uh, the voice emotes. Yeah. That's what they're called. Thank you. <laughs> oh, yep. Oh, my gosh. Nothing adds more insult to the wound than, uh, one of those when you kill somebody yo i'm so happy i got the thank you thing i love those in dark souls one man those things are like so good thank you hello yeah like oh. these skeletons don't deal any damage to me now Right. But I'm not one shotting them funny enough, like kinda of surprising actually. Two handed, I bet you do. Oh probably. yeah, definitely probably. If you're one shotting one hand, that's uh that means you're really up there on the damage. <laughs> Let's go see about the two hand. 
Oh, yes. Not quite. I'm actually going to use. Not quite. Close. I could definitely heavy attack them, though. Yeah, heavy attack, easy. Uh, I don't know how to get out of here. Cool. Honestly, the dungeons are like... Like, the dungeons with skeletons are harder than the bosses sometimes when you're fully leveled up. <laughs> like, the skeletons I are definitely something. definitely agree. They won't be a problem for Sir Baldas. All he has to do is just kill them. We're up. Cemetery. Oh, I got another cemetery shade. Well, oh, this, yeah, is a, like, this, is, uh, this is an insta-kill. Boink. Oh, my God. I was just one away, bro. <laughs> I actually did that, uh, this boss, because uh, I, I was using that same uh, skill that you were using on my first katana, and I did that, and it just died, and I'm like, what? <laughs> <laughs> bro. Oh, man. That's great. Just insta kill, man. That's awesome. I feel like they're going to update those bosses eventually to make them a tad bit stronger, but maybe not. Nah, because like it's it's based on when you find them, you know. Like that is true. If if you're there earlier or whatever, and yeah, they're, they're probably harder. Yeah, it's just. I know this kind of goes against the open world kind of aspect of it, but they kind of yeah. needed to set it up where this is just a little bit more linear. You know, kind of like how we have with Margit gatekeeping the second area with the second tier upgrades. Yeah, you're right um, on that. We needed a few more like stop what's going on. You you have to you have to go through this main boss before getting into this area to upgrade other things. I feel like it kind of needed to be island a little bit, you know. Mm hmm. Because uh, with the way that it is, it, it's just uh, like we like we've been saying, it's a roller coaster of difficulty. Like you can wander into places that are stupidly uh, strong, and then you can wander into places that are you're outmatching them. It's crazy. Mm-hmm. Good old roller coaster, man. Got. Man, I kind of want to grab this shield just for aesthetic purposes. It's super garbage, but it looks like a Viking shield. Oh, gosh. Oh, oh. No, oh. no. Barkety, 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 barkety. Yeah. Barkety back at you. We have a guest here, and she, she gets her was crazy when a guest is here. I had no problems with that. <laughs> uh, oh. Oh, we did. <laughs> yeah, I'm never going to use these things. Hang on to my greases though, because I don't know when I'll need the greases. Fighting good old full moon lady. Yeah, right she's now. fun. I like hey, you want hear you want to hear something funny? That night that you just like annihilated that uh, that gate keeps her basically. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I still had a hard time with him with my first build. I I, I won tried him, but man, he. He still hammered me pretty good. That's funny. All right. Where was I headed? Oh yeah, we're like right here. Yeah, I'm trying to make sure I grab all the crafting recipe things when I find them. Right. Not that I use them currently, but... They are useful, that's for sure. Some of I got anyways. a butt slam! Especially like Yo. the uh, rot berries and stuff like that. Yeah, I got a butt slam, bro. Heck yeah. 
You got the I, smoke slam. I got the smoke slam, bro. Good old smoke, man. Uh oh, our stream just died. Uh oh. Yeah, I see that. Network error. Yeah, we're still here. Live. Yeah, okay, yeah, you're still here. We good. All right. I don't know what happened, but it's back to normal again. Let's see, Which uh, bugs? <laughs> uh, might have been my internet. I mean, you know, luckily the the YouTube recording doesn't even remotely get bothered at all. There's the bears. I didn't kill an Erd tree over here, did I? May have. There's a couple without. Uh, I think there's one without a tree, actually. You just pick it up. But I, I don't know which one you're at, though. There's a purple the Erd tree where you just pick it up. Oh, yeah. What, is, what, are the, what are we picking up here, though, is the other question. It's like a. It's like in the giant cauldron bowl thing. If it's the one I'm thinking, is that the one in Bear Country? Yeah, the Bear Country. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The, that one, that one's up. in a bowl. Yeah, I see it right there. Yeah, I've picked that one up before then. But there's definitely a dude pointing somewhere around here, or at least there usually is. So the question is, where is he, and where is he pointing to? Because I don't have the dungeon for this area. Are we kind of down here? Tell them I said hello. Josh. Brim says hello. <laughs> I've been docs. I, I've been exposed. Oh no. I'm no. sorry. I'm it's just exposed. out of habit. They don't know your gamer name. <laughs> hello. That was my bad. <laughs> It's okay. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> I don't know. My brain went to casual. He yeah, says hello. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> You're casual with your family, man. It's cool. Yeah. Uh, I don't care if people know my first name. It's just uh, last name mainly. Yeah. Will do. And even then, I really don't care if my last name gets out there. It's just I'm not willingly giving it out is the idea yeah 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 yeah, yeah. <laughs> it, it gets dropped every now and then i think i've dropped it before on stream too is what's funny <laughs> if no, I, I, remember right. I, I, don't remember. I did over at um when we played the magic tournament i think i dropped it like once oh. i do remember that Quicker, i mean it's so long ago flock to the magic it. the gathering episode good gosh that's been so long ago that's been a year now actually <laughs> go watch that nearly four hours and find my last name <laughs> uh it's only your first name i think i dropped <laughs> Ooh. only way to find out is to watch the whole episode everybody time to That's go right. <laughs> we have found somewhere i have definitely truffle pig something it would not <laughs> i don't know where i'm at or where i'm going right now i'm actually so happy you found that to be honest Ah, oh, you've been down here too, then. Uh oh, it made me take my horse off. His name's Doom. Fine. Don't die. Mm. Also, what up, Luke? He says messenger. Where am I? Oh, Luce, you missed it. We did like this super big boss that like uh, the festival event. We did uh, Rad Hand. It's like super big to like a bunch of people on TikTok and there's a bunch of streamers that got stuck on it and I was able to do it in an hour. I had a really fun time with it. I didn't summon anything or cheese them at all. And um, it was really, really fun. <laughs> like, right. <laughs> and if people wanted to nitpick about you having fun pulling out the hammer man, ooh, that 30 damage that he does. <laughs> yeah, and I didn't summon anybody for the actual oh. kill, which is awesome. Oh, I know, but you, you know how nitpickers are at times if they oh, yeah. grab your uh, VOD. Yeah. Well, watch the actual kill because I didn't summon a single friggin' person. <laughs> Nobody Everybody, helped me in my actual kill. 
<laughs> you know, I think I can kill him solo. I think I could have if I would have stick to it, but I just enjoyed the, huge, the epic huge, chaos. Tiny horse. Loose knows what we're talking about. Yeah. I killed him solo. Oh, God. I found another friggin' giant city underground. Ow, no. Yes. And fun Here. fact. Um... Uh, since you already found it, it's not really a spoiler, but, uh, Big Dude Tiny Horse is what unlocks this area. Oh! I, I literally, I literally had no idea. And, I, uh, <laughs> yeah. And while you stumbled onto this, you remember the Ice Witch's side quest? You're just like, okay, when you talk to her? Yeah. This is part of her side quest. Uh, okay. Yep. <laughs> You just stumbled into it, so I'm a uh, in I, mine's well. <laughs> I literally, I literally am no idea that this was a thing, man. Mm -hmm. and it was funny. I was grinning ear to ear when you were like, oh, "I have found something." And I saw what you were going down into, and I was like, "Yes, I'm so happy he found this." <laughs> I'm assuming this is one of the side boss things <laughs> that you just want me to go towards. Uh, <laughs> not one that I had trouble with, no, but uh. I really want you to, and that and that was another thing too. That's one boss I really want you to fight. The one that, uh, and apparently, quote unquote, from what I looked up, but this is one guy writing it. He, the one that I'm so upset about that I couldn't do. Apparently, it's the rank one boss in the game uh, on difficulty. Is it this way? No, 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 no. I, I, I will I make sure. I will, if you if you want me to, but I mean you're doing the blind parade throughs, but I will try and drive you into that direction to find her. <laughs> I welcome you. I really being want to subtle. talk to you. Yep. Because I, right. Because I really want to talk to you. Uh, let's talk to you about uh, that person. Well, you gotta remember, Manus and Artorius is also optional. So assuming this isn't this isn't a main boss to beat the game. It's a situation where, you know... It's not. You want to be basically perfect build. Mm-hmm. I don't understand what this thing is. The little sparkly sparkles. I I agree with you on that. Out of all honesty, I think you need perfect build to handle that boss. Because, <laughs> you know, you don't just go rush down Artorias. Mm, oh, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I okay. thought I was... Because you see my character, I thought I was, you know, I had everything I needed, but I started questioning my build. <laughs> I'm kidding you. It's a real thing that happened. It's and just, it's, it's not. What what's the word? I've not been used to it because I've never been stumped before like that hard. As you know, the, this is the first boss that's really got me. Besides I mean, you, Dark Souls, dude. You two tried Artorius, you two tried Manus, so it's something for you to be saying. Yeah. But I, I hope, and this is general one, of anybody that ends up fighting that boss, I, I can't tell you who it is because I don't want to spoil anything, but um, if you beat it without a summons, like I did, completely just wipe the floor with it, I will come up to you and just bow and be like, How to teach me your way, senpai. <laughs> that and that and that's me saying that. <laughs> and I generally hope anybody has an easy time with, with that boss than I did. Watch it literally just be guard counters. Mm, 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 I'm just uh, saying. I'm just saying. I'm just yeah. saying. You don't. Yeah, you don't yeah, have yeah. to make comments not, of what it actually. I, I'm is. not. I'm, just, I'm not. It, I, I was just thinking on it actually when you said it. I was like, hmm. That that's what that noise was is me thinking on it. Was well, like, it just be all guard counters and I just like blender the crap out of it. <laughs> Three guard if counters. You do, I will fatigued. laugh. I'm gonna just repost it, call it a day. And then I will come over on streaming and and, and bow before your feet and like, teach me senpai. <laughs> <laughs> teach me like you did Dark Souls one. <laughs> right. <laughs> Cause I taught you Dark Souls one man, and you two tried Manus and Artorias, and I'm like, yep, and he's a prodigy. <laughs> Cause I, <laughs> I never in my life could have done that. Trolled Artorias is what the bad part is. Yeah. <laughs> I have yet to see anybody do that at all. All right.
man, I had such a hard time on Gwen. That was that was the real kicker for me. <laughs> they were there for a little bit. But I was being stubborn on trying to get the perfect parry repost. So we're glad that uh Grizz took that though. He took he took that home. He's like, you know what? I want that. He just took that ball and ran with it basically I, and I, never parried. <laughs> I am most proud of Grizz on that, only because like he he had an idea in the game that I I didn't provoke, you know? And he stuck with it and he went with it and he did it, you know? Oh yes. So for me that was like a really big moment for me. My jaw hit the hit the desk when he did it. He's just like, I'm gonna do it and like literally two two tries later. Bam. Basically. And I love that stuff too. I still think it's funny in the clip you can hear him like uh, saying, uh uh, you hit him once, you hit him once when me and him was talking about it. <laughs> and I was like, yeah, you're right, I did him once. Yeah, he was very proud of himself too. <laughs> yeah. And, and power on him for it because he did so good on that. Oh, yes. That was the best win I've ever seen done on a first playthrough. Cool. I can hit through the shield if they're trying to power up the shield. Good enough. Hey, you had my old shield from a long while back, buddy. It didn't do anything for me either, so just control your nap now, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> I mean, it's true. <laughs> yeah. The shield doesn't do too much for me, but it it, was, it, it helped me through a little while. Just because it was 100% blocking. Man, I can't wait until we get like a lot more experience under our belts on this game. Like, you know, about four, five, six, you know, loose count of playthroughs, basically. And we start talking about it. And then we come back and talk about our first playthroughs and be like, look how bad we were. <laughs> well, I don't think it's going to be me. as bad, you know, like... Hey, I found a larval tier. That's good. Oh, nice. Level one run win. Yeah, I gotta. I'll have. I mean, I'll have to do a level one run at some point in here, right? Oh my god. Woo -hoo -hoo. <laughs> hey, if if you were there you for it. when Dark Souls One first came out, nobody would have thought level one was a possible thing until like the 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 classic. Uh, psychology thing that you get in psychology 101 classes is the impossible is never actually impossible it wasn't mm. like for the longest time and i don't i don't know the numbers so don't quote me this is an act oh, yeah. but for the longest time running a marathon was 10 minutes whatever it would be okay um and nobody thought that that 10 minutes would ever be possible to be finished and that you know uh for the longest time olympic runners and all that would never get further than, than 10 minutes. And then one day, uh, I think it was Usain Bolt that did it, um, or someone before him, um, got it under nine minutes. And then suddenly the impossible was never impossible again. And that 10 minutes stood for like decades. But as soon as they saw nine minutes, it started going down because people mm. knew it was possible to do. And then people started pushing themselves and finishing in eight minutes, seven minutes, whatever it was. It got lower and lower and lower within the next like generation of, of people because they knew it was possible. As soon as you show someone something is possible, they yep. immediately get vigor on it. So yeah, you might be struggling on some of these bosses right now, but like in two, three playthroughs, you're gonna go, well, this is a lot easier than I thought it was gonna be. I just oh, had yeah. to do ABC and now it's good, you know. Oh, I agree with you on it. It's just me blowing. I'm just like, oh my gosh. Like, I can only imagine. Like, yeah, when you get there, it's not going to be as bad. But man, it's going to be a journey on doing that. <laughs> you push me off the side, you weird shield man.
but yeah i'm gonna i'm gonna do me a level one run as soon as i know what the game is and what to do and where to go and my items and how to get things and my build right. figure out what a level one person can actually use in this game right that's the real trick just figuring out what your weapons you can pick is a club <laughs> i mean reinforced club was the best for dark souls one and there was there was options you know uh you could yeah. two, you could two-hand a battle axe i believe i never did that because two-handing was stupid but um, oh I'm, i will not argue with you there i, I feel like i'm a man for attempting on my first playthrough i'm proud of you for doing it <laughs> Maybe, maybe that's why I've always, you know, I'm sitting here like going, oh man, I suck. But maybe it's just, it's where I'm used to be. And I'll tell you right now, you do not suck. You do not suck. Like, nobody does. <laughs> and if nobody does, you definitely don't. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Mr. I just killed a 1.3% achievement boss so that nobody else was beaten already. <laughs> right. No. Honestly, though, I think that's just where people haven't found it. Like you said, they just it. It wasn't that the fact that I got the achievement of one point three. It was just I was amazed that I'm in that, you know, amount of people right now that found it so far. Yeah, I, I believe anybody can beat them. You know, I don't think there's a boss in this game that somebody could. You know, that anybody that start picked up a controller and started playing couldn't beat. I pretty well agree with that statement. Mm -hmm. And the people that get down hard, they're like, ah, this is impossible. Like, it, uh, just don't give up. That's like the lesson you were teaching your, uh, who was it that you sent that to saying, just don't give up? Yeah, just never uh, give up. I've said it to so many people. I don't know which one you'd be talking about. Yeah, it was a story you told me. I think, was it your niece? I could be wrong. Yeah, my niece, my niece. I wrote the uh, the letter with Dark Souls 1. I bought it for her birthday. Or, or no, I bought it for Christmas as, of one of many items and wrote her a letter saying, just don't give up. You can always beat them. Like, yeah. And uh, she didn't like the game. She she didn't play it for very much. Uh, but then when she comes over here, she sits down with the other two and plays it and just absolutely, like, they just sit there and have the most fun air. <laughs> like... They're always wanting to play Dark Souls when they come over here. Oh, I bet. And you know, that just tickles me pink. They've done it twice so far, and it's just, it's awesome to watch them. Because they, all three of them, like, when they die, they, they give the controller to the next one. There was two larval tiers down here, bro. Yeah. Dang. Yeah, you, you start getting them in bulk. That was another reason why I smiled when you found that area, because I'm like, oh, he's about to find more respect. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm real glad I came down here. I am going to leave pretty soon after I see what the boss looks like, because uh, I want to go finish get killing herd tree things. That was oh, yeah. The whole point of this episode. Yeah, now, you now just kind of stumbled upon this. You keep doing that, too, and it's so funny to me. You're just like, all right, we're going to do this. And I look over, and I'm like, how do you get there? <laughs> I'm here. <laughs> the Volcano Manor was absolutely the most unexpected journey you took, to be honest. <laughs> For me. I'm like, how? How did he get there? <laughs> I'm pretty good at wandering around, man. Hello, sir. Oh, I'm fighting myself. What? Oh, yes. I'm sorry, self, but you don't know how to use this build quite like I do. No, none of that. Oh, he's gonna try to blood attack on me. Uh-oh. Yo, you you have no idea what to do with that build, mister. What what was this? This was a boss? It's just a fun little boss. I, I wouldn't even call it an actual boss, to be honest. It's just a fun one. But like that first of all that's a really cool idea like i just want to just like I, I that's cool that's really cool but like with my build i i counter so hard bro i right. counter uh, so hard <laughs> I, I will say with my build it was probably a better experience for me uh a little bit difficulty wise because my my build was just us slamming into each other with claymores in the head <laughs> 
<laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> what would make that fight so much more interesting is if the game has read how you played up to here, and then you're literally fighting a AI generated version of yourself. I felt like it there for a little bit on mine because mine, uh, I think I could be wrong though because I was wearing really bulky armor and he wasn't taking as much damage <laughs> as yeah. I expected him he would because you really chunked yours. Mine would took me a uh, took me a few hits more. <laughs> See, that's the thing. If my guy was AI generated version of mine, he would have rolled mm. and blocked my attacks as they came in because I got good timing on rolls. Is what I'm getting at. Mm-hmm. So. That's a, that's such a fun, uh, a fun little boss though, man. I just hate that I killed it so quick. <laughs> like, I know. I, I kind of wanted I, that to be a little bit more I, fun. I knew that was going to be Ooh, your, what, up, uh, what? Dumplings here. I just want to say hello oh. to Dumpling. Oh, her with, <laughs> you did that. <laughs> he knows what I said. All right. He's the legend. He knows what everybody says. He blesses my blade every time I call upon the uh, the holy aura. I get that legendary aura around my blade. Oh yeah. What was you What was you saying? Uh, I I uh, I agree with you, and I figured that that was gonna be your response to that boss. I was like, man, I said this is such a cool boss, and I I knew when you got the, uh, if you stumbled upon that that you would think the same thing. I'm like, but he's gonna hate it that it's so squishy. <laughs> yeah. Especially since I'm squishy. I think it had the same health as me, so... No, yeah, it didn't. It, I hit it, him three it literally, times. Uh, Hang on. How much it, health? It, it, you have a thousand, a thousand, I believe. Yeah, I hit you, you, you basically... I think it had more than you. It did. It had more than honest. me. I hit him 703 times. I'm definitely finding out how long this bubble shield works. I ain't gonna lie, I was kind of terrified of mine because he had wild swings. So he was just <laughs> coming after me and he didn't stagger where I had such high poise and it scared me. I ain't gonna lie. When I first fought mine. <laughs> <laughs> my my guy tried one blood slash and it was like, nope, dead. <laughs> Sorry, bud. Yeah, because that move really requires the perfect positioning before you use it. And yeah. He's just like trying to throw it out there and it's like, bruh. <laughs> <laughs> not to toot my own horn but I like to say that I'm pretty good at positioning and timing I mean I'm not going to argue that <laughs> <laughs> oh TikTok just died uh oh did uh, your phone uh, yeah. lose the juice oh yeah that bubble shield lasts forever by the way does it oh good to know I yeah. thought it was just a decent amount of time Lucky is more like it. But yeah, we killed one of the bigger bosses in the game, Rad Han or whatever. Like everybody's been talking about on my TikTok. It's gonna stump you. I promise you. Oh it, man, it's gonna eat some people up that it didn't it stomp didn't you. Nothing. Watch. It did. It, it definitely didn't stomp me. No, an hour is not a stump, or an hour is definitely not a stump on on a big boss like that you know uh, uh on that um on that website i was saying about like you know i, I don't take a, their their opinions too seriously but you know right what up. they rank that boss is what he's five out of ten of oh. the hardest bosses in the game so i'm good for the rest of the game then <laughs> yep basically now <laughs> if, if you dismantled the rank one boss in in that amount of time or just breeze through uh, through it, then I will be like, my gosh, this man. <laughs> That's what I'm really going to say. This wolf <laughs> having a lot of uh, extra room to move is annoying. Oh, yes. Ooh, I'm going to have to hit him at least five times. Yeah, he's a he's a thick boy when uh, in that area. That's okay. We'll just do some uh, counters on him here. He's easy. 
them homing magic that I hate, though. All right. Ah, Counters all them. melee builds. <laughs> hate magic for some reason. It's rough, man. Magic's rough on a melee build. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you. Let me uh, clean up TikTok a little bit here. But I guess when you ever, because I've never really ran a magic build, I'm assuming you're really resistant to magic. But boy, when you get hit by physical, it don't take long. I'm assuming. <laughs> you can with with a magic build, you should be mixing in with like other stuff. Like that's why I went longsword originally because I wanted to mix in magic more effectively because you don't need as much stats to run like a longsword as like a great sword and stuff. So I could go mm. lower on my stats to accomplish more was my original thought process on doing halberds and magic. Because if you wanted to do like a great sword, you gotta have like 30 friggin' strength and whatnot, so. I didn't feel like uh, going that route. I was thinking right. about stat a little bit there on that decision. Mm. But, um, did I find literally another one of these so I've got to fight him again. This is literally like the same situation, ain't it? Yeah. Ah, okay. Well, I'm going to teleport out of here and go work on some more herd treason. Well, now I need to go pick up them 24k souls, I guess. I'll be back here to finish this area, but... Oh, yeah. It's a fun area. I do recommend finishing it. I, I, know I love these to, areas. But... I think they're beautiful. I cannot wait for the lore information to come out on this game, man. Like, yeah, uh, funny enough, um, I found these uh, guys on YouTube. Uh, they're brothers, and uh, they start randomly doing. Uh, they've done two-hour-long uh, lore videos on all the Dark Souls, and they've did a super good job on it, man. Super good. I listened to it all the way through. On uh, they've done Dark Souls one and two so far, and it. Like, I've watched a lot of lore and what you've told me, you know, and it's understanding, but they put uh, a little bit more together, and I was like, ah, oh. I'm like, so, that, that, that's, oh, that makes more sense now. <laughs> yeah, I gotcha. <laughs> what you got going on there, Mr. Dumplin? He did it on accident. What'd you do? We're gonna take your principal's office. Right. Get back out of here. I want to go back to working on the herd trees a little bit more. Oh, this is connected to that other area. Oh, these areas connect together. But maybe I already killed that. No, way, it'd be a different one, wouldn't it? Insanity. I'm going to go use one of those. Uh, Actually, I got how many? I got a bunch of those tears. I could actually test my blood paint idea out myself. You know? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I should have done it on my other alt, but for some reason I got sidetracked from yep. doing the uh, soft cat. No issue. Once I figure out stats and stuff, I don't have to worry about having these larva tails ever again. Right. I'm I'm one of those people that literally just need to like respect one time to figure things out. I love this shield, bro. It's so good looking. All right. This is such a long friggin. I've still have yet to get that shield on either of my playthroughs from killing uh, those guys. It's basically like a giant crest shield. Basically. You found the quest. Good lord, that elevator takes time. Um. Well, I guess really merchants that don't matter, but there's certain NPCs you probably don't want to kill there, Dumpling, because they won't uh, have more in their store later on. Yeah, yeah, definitely don't kill all of your merchants, but <laughs> some of them give bells and some of them don't. Um, but equally, uh, there's another big reason that I'm not going to spoil for you because you could just end up having it happen on accident. There's, uh, there's another reason why you don't want to do that. <laughs> <laughs> but it's not game breaking you can still beat the game even though you've killed a lot of your merchants like that man most of these merchants have had basically nothing yeah. in my opinion 
Well, yeah, the ones that are sitting near the campfires, I don't see an issue with them, but there's certain ones that end up becoming vendor like patches and stuff that you probably shouldn't. <laughs> nah, but, but uh, <laughs> it could hurt you really badly later. I can promise you that. That means a, it's a different approach to the game, that's for sure, at least. <laughs> That yeah. era that I've seen, so. Alright. Um, I have not found the secret spot for here yet. But I'm just gonna go kill these urn trees. That's gonna be the focus. Had a little, uh, jaunt there, I guess you could say. Right. Hmm. I have done a lot in the game today. You have. You've been on quite the adventure today. I've done this catacomb, but have I done the boss? That's the other thing is like, I'm not sure if I've killed every boss in each one of my catacombs because I have like left a couple bosses behind in these catacombs. Hmm. Yeah. Uh, the one catacomb boss that really stumped me um that you found really early on was the uh the two cats together do you remember which one that is yes i do okay if you could tell me the name that one like, really sticks out of my mind because i, I uh, know i haven't i know i haven't beaten that one uh i'll have to go find it on this character real quick and then i can tell you uh because where all my stuff's gone yeah if you can that one, that one took me a minute. <laughs> it might be the one I'm at right now. Uh, it could be. It's in like the, it's, it's at the start of the, well, yeah, you might be at it actually. It's, it's like in the red area of the map. Oh, I ain't in the red area right now then. Can't remember where to go on this one. I remember doing this one, I just don't remember where it is I'm supposed to go with it. Oh, it's right here, ain't it? Nope. I love Hard that tell I take... which catacomb is which. <laughs> I love that I take, like, no damage to these guys anymore. Yeah, I... Oh, hey. I don't know, that's really weird to me, maybe... Maybe I'm wrong on this, but I've noticed like if you get up a, to a certain level, it seems like some mobs do reduce damage to you. But maybe I'm wrong on that. It just feels like it to me for some reason. When I go yeah. back. Oh, they got me with blood loss. Dang. Ooh. This is the secret. Yeah, this is like all the illusionary walls one, where it gives you the lever early. I think I can oh. here. Roads yeah, I've, I've done that one. I just did that one on my main again for the second time. What, what boss is at the end of it, do you know? Um, I think it's a night character. Oh, it's, it's the invisible snail, I think. I think you've already done snail? that one. Yeah. I think it was the invisible snail. I could be wrong, though, but I think that one was the invisible snail. I believe it is as well. Yeah, because I think it's... Yeah, that way. There. I'm trying to find my souls that I just lost. Yeah, let me go... Uh, so I'm actually kind of curious about fighting that now. So let me go find that... Uh, Yeah, because here's a little hole down this way. All right, I found the boss room. I can just look here now. Yeah, I've already been down here. Yeah, uh, th funny enough, the uh, the one with the two cats is a uh, tree bo uh, tree catacombs. Okay, so I'll find it again really quick then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the tree in the red area when you get there. I'll just go there first because I want to kill them anyway. And I'll kill the Erd tree over there because I know I haven't killed that one. Uh, well, no, we need to deal with this Erd tree first, too. So. Good old rot tree. Ugh. 
Yeah. Speaking of them, I just ran into them. Oh well, I guess you're going to die again, buddy. Even though I have no point in killing you this at this point. I just want to collect all those wondrous mixtures so that I can know. Yeah. I just so that I know what's in the game for future use. Yeah, that way you don't waste your time killing some of them if you don't really need to kill them. Yeah. That's what I did too. But uh, sometimes with my memory, after you know playing an open world game, you're like, "What is this give again?" And then you have to kill them again to figure it out. Well, no, that's. I mean, after my first playthrough, I'll be looking stuff up. Like I'll be looking oh, at yeah. items and stuff, and uh, knowing now will let me know. Oh yeah, I remember this bubble thing that I can use to get a bubble around me or whatever. I just need to go look at where it's at in the game. Hmm. I was all playing roots and stuff after my first playthrough. Did I yeah, I've already game? started doing that uh, with my second playthrough. Yeah, I already killed this one. Dang. I guess that makes sense. I wonder how many. Uh, uh, I wonder how many people got duped by that boss by trying to fight the knight. I don't know. Uh, once you see that you're not dealing damage to the boss, though, is pretty evident something's going on. Right. I need to be up here actually. Easily the best Dark Souls has been made, though. I'll stand by that a million percent right now. Oh, yeah. Honestly, um, at least uh, maybe not later, my mind said, but right now, I mean, it may change later, but that one I had difficulty was uh, is probably my highest uh, ranked out of all the series of any game. Oh, that's that got Dark Souls feel to it as the hardest boss that, I, that I've had trouble with. It's time for revenge, Erd Tree. I struggled with you earlier, but no more. Yeah, my oh ability my God, to just block hell. magic now, dude, like. Them hammer attacks are hurting. Oh yeah. In the earlier levels, the, they, they used to be one shots. <laughs> oh yeah, all, all of this was one shots basically. I'm glad to see the uh, blast, like the, the multi-blast is still in, like <laughs> the way it was. That multi-blast <laughs> was still trying to get me. So he dropped a bunch of crack tears. Crack tears. Temporarily boost lightning, holy, enhances charge attacks, magic attack. Okay, so we, we got like the attack booster ones now. Okay, so that's what that tree gives is the attack boosters. Maybe I won't go find the catacombs for each one of these. Out of all honesty, sometimes I feel I wonder if the catacombs are uh, actually worth going to sometimes. Good question. Mainly because it seems like the theme is uh, when you beat the boss, it's a. Sometimes it's, it might be a talisman sometimes, but for the most part, I felt like it was uh, just a sh uh, an ash summons for the most part. Yeah, that's what I was noticing too. And there's only one summons I really even care about using if I use one, so not unless you're curious about the others. Um I'm I'm semi curious about the others, but at the same time, like I'm gonna pick what 
feels like should be the one that I use type deal. I should not have jumped like that. I know me and Zalas Bait have practically picked the same summons that we use. <laughs> and so did uh, Xanifer. So we'll see if that's the one you go with or not. Even though I, I honestly think it's the strongest one. So... You got sad because you missed the jelly summon. Those things look like garbage. <laughs> to be honest with you. Oh, the jellyfish? Yeah, they're they're kind of bad. <laughs> um, I'm I'm interested in the 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 zombie horde one that I picked up. Like, uh, the mariner, not the mariner one. Uh, there was. It's uh an NPC that I know is associated with like undead, and then um. Uh, I can't remember what it was now. I got it here. Let me just go look at it real quick. I really ain't even looked at the Ash Summons still, you know? Um, They're fun to use. I mean, just uh, whenever you're like on your second playthrough, just to goof off, but... But I think they're they're a little bit too cheesy and take away from the experience of the game, if you ask me. I won't argue that, to be honest. Because I don't think I would have beat that boss without uh, my summons. I'd probably still be stuck on it right now. So Because of that one move. It's just one move, man. Or else I think I could beat it. Huh. There's something followers or something like that. I guess I missed it. Oh no, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a spell. It's a friggin' spell. That's right. Um, actually, it, it's just right here. Tibia's summons summon those live who live through in death. Like I'm actually curious of what that spell is and if it's any good because it, it's a spell summon instead of like a ash summon. Hmm. Not sure. I don't know. It does seem interesting. I just thought that was neat. I like the idea of trying to go for like a lich kind of build someday, you know? Oh, yeah. I have the perfect Ash of War for a scythe, by the way, that I think you will enjoy later on. Might not. It might not be your play style, but we'll see. Whenever you yeah. decide to do a scythe build. I'm completely against the Ash summons and summoning players. I think it takes away from it because you're literally watching something else beat the game for you. Like any anything that takes away from you yourself beating a boss is not healthy in my opinion. Like imagine if uh, you had an NPC kill Artorius for you. Did you actually kill Artorius or did the NPC kill Artorius? You just sat back and watched it type deal. I just got a golden slam. I just got like an e explosive, I guess, butt slam. Heck yeah, the golden butt slam. <laughs> the golden cheeks slam. <laughs> Heck yeah. yeah. Bro, I don't know about this place that I'm at. I hate the noises these dudes make. Is there an Erd tree to kill here, though? Where you're at, yeah. There, there is a, there's a boss there. I mean, I'm cool if it's not an Erd tree boss. I was like, but I, you know, I'm looking yeah. for it. Yeah, just keep looking, you'll find it. <laughs> right. It's humongous. Oh, one of these big boys. Gotcha, worm face. What up, bro? Please do not spike me. Please don't spike me. Please don't spike me. Not like this. Ooh. He got, he got you drenched in it pretty good right there for a second. Yeah, but it didn't kill me. I'm, oh, no. I, oh, he grabbed me, so... Uh, Ooh. What's his grab look like? I never got grabbed. I got wormed, boy. I got wormed. Ooh. I got wormed. I've been wormed. I, I want to know though. I, I would love to ask 
uh, some of the devs though of, of why there's so many grab mechanics in this game. There is that that's literally a one shot almost every time too. I feel like there might be a mechanic that I'm just missing, like to avoid grapples every time or some garbage like that. I don't know. Or if it's I, just if it's just rolling, but it, you you can't block a grapple me. is the thing, you know. I just roll, but, but I mean I'm heavy so reliant on rolling with my build. That's probably why I never end up getting grabbed. Because if you're trying to like shield something, all of a sudden they go for the grab, then oof. It's hard that to decipher butt. when you're going to block. He's, he, he has like a, 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 a... Did you did you see this? Yeah, he spam grabs. Yeah, he, he did that to me. What? What do you mean? He's just sitting there spamming grabs. Um... I rolled through his legs, and uh, then you can just wallop him from behind. Oh, he does it in a straight line. He doesn't home with you, okay? Yeah. Okay, that makes way more sense. Because, like, I was like, whoa, hang on, Yeah, because I did like... the exact same thing you did. I'm like, can you stop? Can you stop? Can you stop? Because <laughs> I kept doing it. <laughs> Whew. Like, bro... All right, I'm gonna check on my uh, crossbow damage here. Not that I need to do this, but I want to see if what it's doing to this guy. 183. Yeah, never mind. He just gets you and just gets you in there and gives you all those uh, tentacles. <laughs> Good to know that's a one shot though. Even because with, with a thousand health and it's still one shot, and you is insane. <laughs> Yeah, it's definitely a one shot, basically. I got friggin' death blighted. Ooh. Which is an insta kill. Do I have anything to stop death blight buildup or something? Yeah, I think there's some berries actually. Let me check. I think I actually have some. Yeah. Uh, rejuvenating, uh, whatever that word is. <laughs> ah, I have a single one of them. Eventually you can craft them, but the, the, I don't know where to get the, the moss has like been my major problem on crafting them. Yeah. These are golden roas right here. Hmm. Yeah, grabs like every boss having a grab has been a little frustrating for me. Oh yeah. And I, and I understand why, because uh, like you, you, you know, you stayed at the start of the game, you're like, eh, this is like one of my major weaknesses is the grabs, because if you're going for, because you're thinking that they're going to swing at you, so you block, and instead it's a grab, basically. And it's just, uh, I just, I got death blighted again. Oof. My death blight buildup is so quick. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he, ha he has a move where he literally, like, it's just such a massive area that he puts it in. And if you're underneath him, it's just, you're done, basically. Well, getting serious for a second here. I didn't think I'd have to get serious for this guy because I was ready to just, like, be done with him already. Right. All right, get rid of these ads to start out with. Apparently I can hit him in the head for like 1700 damage, so that's kind of cool. Yeah, there, uh, there's certain bosses that have like weak spots on my fount. Just boom, boom, boom. <laughs> Every time. Ah, <laughs> oh, crap. This grabby crap. It's got such a huge gap closer with it, too. Cause you bro you were like four rows away from him. he just almost uh got a hold of you yeah he's like <laughs> non-stop moving there man 10k souls on him though mm -hmm. that's not too bad I, oh i knew i had was, it it's just uh, getting out of the grapples and not staying inside the mists for him the not a hard boss it's more of watch the environment <laughs> it's top deal yeah the boss is fine 
real question is where's the catacombs over here if there is one i may just have I'm to like after i beat hmm. the game go through it with a map and see what's left type deal. i'm actually not sure if there's one there or not but there should be like you said with the trees but i don't remember if i found one there or not so far i've found one at every tree essentially so yeah i'm sure there is one then let me see you, uh can you ban that guy yeah have him on it Go to the third tree neck. Thank you, buddy. All right, this is one of those uh, pestilent ones, I think. What up, wolf? How you doing, buddy? We've killed some big bad bosses recently. And now we're trying to like take a, a, a small little breaky poo here, you know? A like little breaky some, poo. Yeah, a little breaky poo. <laughs> Murdering all the uh, little boss. Yeah. Sometimes you need a little break from the chaos. Right. Why do they make poison so weak in this game, though? Because I just got poison and it's barely doing anything to me. <laughs> well, you know, how damaging was uh, poison in Dark Souls 1? Yeah, you got a point. I thought it did a little bit more in Dark Souls 1, but maybe no, I'm wrong. Remember, you stood in it in Blight Town for hours. It was Toxic that was killing you really quickly in Dark Souls 1. Oh, yeah, okay, yeah, you're right. And in here, that's Scarlet Rot. Scarlet Rock Toxic. Yeah. And, yeah. Yes. Yeah, Scar Scarlet Rot just. Ugh, <laughs> I hate it in this game so bad. Ooh, this guy has way more health. No wonder I couldn't beat this guy earlier with this. Mm-hmm. They become like a, they become pretty thick boys. Oh, he can still one-shot me after all this. He can still one-shot me. Putrid uh -oh. boy over here. Yo, yo, we got a we got a contender, baby. Yeah, that's what I want to see. Woo. I'm excited now because he gonna have some souls on him. When that Bianca come like come back this day, he's so like he's tanky and everything, and just doesn't give you anything really. <laughs> okay, so the Scarlet Rot that he throws down is like insta kill territory. Yeah, it's like an AOE all around him. It's so annoying. It's what it takes forever to kill him. Oh, now I'm not I'm not grinding levels. I'm just fighting boss. Oh. The he can't one shot me from full health, but if I use my uh, blood attack, basically taking that damage is gonna kill me. There's some really crazy ways in this game to freaking farm bruins if you really really want them. But you don't need them is my thing that I try to yeah. tell people. But there's some lightning, just crazy ones out there. I'm like, how does people find these out? You know, like some of them, like some of them are obvious, but like, and there's some of them I'm like, why? Why, why did you take the time to figure this out? <laughs> the amount of area blocking in this one is so crazy to me. Ah, uh, he got me with the one shot, but I got him down to half. Uh, a little, little over half, but yeah. I've got his number now. I know his pattern. Oh, yes. These guys aren't uh, super pattern heavy. No, it's just slip and rip, as I, uh, as I like to call those bosses. Yeah. I accidentally like two-handed my friggin' shield again. I don't know what button I'm pushing to do the two-handed um, that. A six seven five three nine. 
Thank you. I do like the in new emote as well. I especially like it when it's moving around all over the screen like that. <laughs> oh, man. I That's, remember when uh, you sent me that the first time, like that picture. I was like, man. <laughs> Such a good picture, man. Oh, crap. Ah, uh, so I can. Good to test out real quick. It's only 940 on damage, though. Run away from that weird attack he does. I just, I just Goomba stomped him for two damage. literally just run away when he does that attack, basically. Can't remember which one it was, though. I, I was struggling mainly because of the map area. So there wasn't a whole lot of place for me to roll. I can't remember which one it was, though. I did not mean to pull out my horse. Good old horse. Yeah, just coming out at a random time. The classic. I'm here, my lord. <laughs> I wanted to get the bubble shield on and reset my uh, FP, basically. Yeah. Well, I wasted the bubble shield on that holy attack he's got. from him just for a second longer. No need to be risky here. Yep, the number one killer for me in this game is being risky greedy. It wasn't risky, but he was backing me up too far. Oh, yeah, Where did and he you get that shield? Here. I killed a guy and took it from him. And I have yet to get it, by the way. So you'll probably have to kill them a few times. Requires high arcane to drop, and you need 32 strength to wield it. So hopefully you have the strength but also the shield isn't really like the thing that's making my build awesome. <laughs> it's just a cool looking shield. Why did the tree avatar remind me of the old witch from the dark crystal? I don't know, man. I wonder if I can kill this dragon real quick. Ooh, he's got some HP too. Hoping I could hit him in the head. Oh, I did. I got the headshot. You just gonna fly away on me? Like I one did. Nope. Cool. Let me get them headshots on you a little more here, buddy. You got some damage on them little foot attacks. Not gonna lie. All right, I'll back off your head a little bit there. Oop, he's up on me now. What are you doing? Just 
gonna kill a dragon in one try right here. Without like, without like even like trying a little bit, you know? Just, just let me get, just kill, kill me a little dragon here real quick. <laughs> you know? Why do I feel like the these are more tankier than the actual boss versions <laughs> for some reason? That always feels like it to me. It does feel that way to me too. Yeah, that blood attack is dope. Um, it's just that my weapon's upgraded really high, man. Like my weapon is at like plus a 17 right now. So every weapon in the game can literally do what I'm doing. As long as you just uh, upgrade the weapon and find a art of war that you like. Mm -hmm. um, it's not about your character levels. It's not about, you know, hardly anything. It's it's literally weapon damage. Uh, weapon upgrades are the most important thing you can do. I have just no like, arguments there. Just like in every Dark Souls. But man, this putrid tree right here has got the HP, man. He's got the thick. Yeah. <laughs> Thick tree. Oh, that Can thick, I... uh, thick bark. I'm gonna try to grab my souls and then let him kill me. I don't know why I got sent back to the uh, bonfire instead of where I was. Yeah, dumpling. I've done no, uh, no ruin farming. I've done almost no summonings. No. Uh, ashes. I've done basically none of the cheese in the game so far. Haven't relied on my horse. Haven't relied on summoning players. Haven't relied on summoning ashes. I've just stuck to my guns on Dark Souls logic and upgraded my weapon, gotten used to dancing, and did all that. Oh my god, it sent me back here again. It isn't even giving me the option of going to the site that's over there. Maybe Lenny's Rise is quicker to get there. Getting tired of doing that. At the moment, my Bloodhound Fang is only plus four. You need to get that number up, bro. On your map, real quick, um, look for these little icons oh crap i just realized i'm not going to have any icons to show an example of because it's going to have the the freaking mine shaft thingy on it ain't it yeah it's gonna have the grace on it yeah it's got like the gills tunnel like the tunnels have icons too you know can i get rid of the icons on the map or something mm, not sure I don't think so. But like, you want to look for these little tunnels and do the mine, uh, mine shafts. Um, they look like little, little black holes. That's got like a little bit of red around them and you'll see them throughout the map. And you just go to them and, uh, go get your weapon upgrades, man. Like you'll be blazing through the game a lot faster. That's for sure. Um, yeah, eventually when you get those bell bearings for the, uh, stones too. You've gotten a few of them as well. But, uh, I know, uh, Dumpling hasn't been kind of around, but, uh, uh it, it, actually, I'll, I'll rephrase it. I, I'll say something new. Here we go. Uh, at the end of this episode, for, for the end of this episode. Um, I am going to say first time playing type deal. This is not as hard as like Dark Souls 1, in my opinion. Um, as far as like your first playthrough goes, like, I think, I think this game gives a lot of ways to handle beating this game. Like, I think it's got the most amount of uh, player assistance that I've seen in, in any of these Souls games, basically. Well, I found, I found the under tree portion. Even though I didn't kill the Erd tree. Dragon Borrow Cave. There's definitely going to be a dragon at the end of this cave. Because this game provides a lot of player assistance. Like, you... 
you got horse combat, you got these ash summons, you got player summons like crazy, like the graces are all over the place and easy to get to. Um, I feel like it holds your hand a little bit more than other parts of the game of uh, the Souls franchise, which isn't a necessarily a negative thing. It's just kind of a weird thing to say about a Souls game. I do like a lot of the player comforts that they've added into the game. There are there are things that uh, make the game more comfortable that I am very much approval of. But I think the uh, adding in stuff that uh, plays the game for you is kind of a negative. Yep, look for mine shaft so you can upgrade your weapon. Super important. Just like Dark Souls 1, upgrading your weapon is the most important thing you can do, period. And then leveling up endurance, and then leveling up your weapon stats, and then leveling up HP afterwards. The norm. <laughs> the norm. <laughs> I will agree with you, though, about that. It's not about I think the summons you. are interesting, though. Like the Ashras, anyways. I think they're interesting, cool, but they do add... Uh, quite a bit of assistance. I think it's different, but I think it takes away from like your accomplishment personally. Yeah. And I had a few moments of it, but I shook it off except for that uh, couple of bosses I did on, where you're just like, oh, you know, I could use summons since I'm having such a hard time, and I'm like, no, 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 no. You know, it was one of those things like you want to want a cigarette. <laughs> I don't know how to explain it. Yeah, no. Nah. But, but I'm not I upset about it. it. And it it's not to help noobs. It actually is actually misguiding them. Because mm -hmm. for a second there, Dumpling, all right? Imagine if I didn't tell you to not summon. And you basically summoned me and Nance in for Dark Souls 1 on every single one of your bosses. And you stood in the back and watched me and him basically kill all of the bosses for you. Did you beat Dark Souls, or did we beat Dark Souls for you while you watched us fight the boss? You also don't learn any of the dance. You don't learn any of the boss's patterns, any of the movements. You know, you stagger lock them with wolves or, or run around them with a wolf or summon in enemies to distract them while you can heal. Uh... Yeah, and that, that's one summons I never used when I realized it was the wolves because there's three of them, and I'm like, that's a lot of attacks going on to a person. They may be squishy, but it's a lot of attacks that could possibly stagger. And I just fought Radon, so, like, uh, I'll say my opinion on that in just a moment. I did Radon without any summonings, without any Ash summonings, without doing any of the even attended stuff, basically. Um, and like I was telling Nance, like, using them can help you get through the first phase of the fight, and they're not going to help you in the second phase. But I, I died maybe 15 times during the first phase, so if you're speeding up your first phase, you're losing out on all of those moments right there. So you're, you're literally speeding up 15 deaths worth of what's going on. Essentially. Yep. And that is redonkulous. Being able to distract the boss, even if they're not dealing any damage, is very cheesy. Oh, crap. Oh man, one hit away. I I didn't realize he had he hit the ground twice and summoned double on those homing shots. Ooh. I I'm glad they have added new fresh things to a new IP. Like I am not mad that they've added these things. 
but it's gonna like like i said with dark souls one the biggest thing is your first playthrough what your first playthrough experience was like is very important because once you beat the game for the first time you can't unbeat the game like your first playthrough for me should be blind should be you know experiencing each boss as they come and seeing how they how they handle and what happens with them and all that kind of jazz and um taking that away from somebody loses so much of the experience of of dark souls and you know elden ring you know if if you went and watched an entire gar guide of dark souls one and knew everything that was going on immediately like it wouldn't be nearly the same kind of experience and for me i've been going through this extremely blind i haven't looked up literally anything yet i literally know nothing about what's going on still and it has been a tremendous experience i loved every I've, I've loved every second of this game so far still am i'm not even done but i am getting mad at this future tree at this point i'm gonna have to focus a little bit talking has gotten me killed a couple of times on this guy Bad camera, bad camera, very bad camera. Yeah, just running away is the best tactic for these pestilent yeah, drop attacks. They're just annoying because he does it so often. I've been trying to figure out ways to make it to where he doesn't aggro that attack, but he just that he always wants to do it <laughs> pretty much ah I got exploded by him that time yeah because killing Manus was an achievement and you wouldn't want somebody to take that away from you and with the ash summons if they were just like summoning Sif for example because Sif doesn't do a whole lot during the Manus fight he can he can get a distraction out of there every now and then but like if, if it's there's a balancing act with the ash summons that I think goes a little overboard so to speak I've been watching some people play and I've I've literally said to myself without the ash they literally wouldn't have beaten that boss yet <laughs> yep that I can agree with without summoning their friend they literally would not have beat that boss yet like I mean, play your game how you want to, but it, it does remove from the experience when you're not the one that did it. I won't be blunt. I don't think there's some people that I've watched would have made it through Margit yet without uh, help. <laughs> Margit is literally gargoyles is what's so funny to me on that topic. Like The anybody, dreaded gatekeeper. <laughs> anybody can beat Margit. That's, that's literally just gargoyles. Ah, let him hit, hit me. This dude has so much health, bro. <laughs> I'm literally landing like, what, 890s on him still? Like, God. The health on these dudes ramp up. Yeah, let me see how much damage I'm doing. Oh wait, I need to grab my souls first before I do. I've been juggling these 15k souls while fighting him this whole time too. I have a bad habit of forgetting about my souls when I'm in a boss fight. I'm like, oh, you, how dare you kill me? And I just run at him again without picking him up. <laughs> that roll was nutty. I'm out of the pattern right now so bad. All right, here we are. 
Alright, we're back in the pattern. Still favorite fight had to be Godric. Yeah, Godric is still my favorite fight. I liked Rat Hand. I think Rat Hand is like amazing. I think I'm I'm right there with Nance on it, but Godric was a perfect tier two fight in my opinion. Red Hand is just sexy though. He is everything. Oh, I, I've got nothing against anybody not having him as their favorite boss. I mean, everybody's got their own boss that they enjoy. Godric is great. He's easy my number two right now. Like, Rad Hand straight up fits my aesthetic, you know? <laughs> oh yeah, he does. But I love the dragon arm Godric thing going on there, man. I do have to ask, what is your favorite attack on uh, Rahan? That um... he did. I know how weird this is going to sound, but that Fury Swipe that he does, it's its a nutty thing to roll away from. I know it's not flashy, but like that is a very Ooh. fun kind of thing to roll from. Oh, yes. I agree. My favorite is just the Meteor because it's just so funny watching. I, I watched a complimentary of big streamers just getting slammed in the face by that attack and just dying. Is there, they're like, Whoa, what happened? <laughs> And if you don't get slapped by that at least once in your playthrough, you didn't do something right. Right. <laughs> you just didn't go into that fight or something. Because oh, you man, should so get funny. meteored at least once. Right. The thing that didn't make it surprising for me is I got to survive it one time, so I knew yeah. exactly what it was going to look like if I died. <laughs> yeah. So glorious, though, man. <laughs> no. Nope. Oh. Bubble shield make me live to fight another day? No! I don't know why I went for a blood slash when I saw he was like jumping up. That was purely just a bad mm. input on my part. I, that bubble dig could give you a little bit of leeway though because it stopped the extra tick of that rot for a second. Yeah, but it didn't <laughs> save me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'll, ha I'll, kill, I'll kill him literally this next time right here. Yeah. Most well, certainly. I don't think it'd be cool if they added in like a raid boss on this game where it, it actually required like five or six people to fight and it just had a ton of health. I would welcome that as long as it's not a main main fight. I agree. I agree. It should be like a side thing biggest killer for me is madness i don't know if i've had a madness effect pop up on me yet or if i have i haven't had an issue with it i don't even know what madness is out of all honesty yeah <laughs> i have no idea what what the he madness could be thing he could is. be he could be talking about something that we uh i lost my souls. oh well i legit haven't seen madness pop up yet I want to say it's the uh, the uh, tree instant death thing. That's what I really want to say that he's talking about. No, that was the uh, that was the. It, it was. It's called death. It's got death in its name. Yeah, death something. Death blight. I think it's called. Yeah, death blight. That's it. Death blight. One hundred percent. I think I I have heard of madness though. If, if, if I've ran into Madness, obviously it wasn't that too impactful in my playthrough. <laughs> For me, anyways. What's it do? It looks like an Eye of Sauron. Yeah, I don't know when I was. The Great Eye. Actually, I got I'm, struck I'm by lightning. Oh my god, he's just spamming. He's spamming the, the thing. He's spamming the thing at me. The, Leave me uh, alone. Uh, Magic's my weakness. Stop that not fair 
<laughs> Don't use your abilities. You can butt slam all you want. I'd rather you to butt slam. Ah, uh, bad timing on my blood slash there. Oh, okay. I know what he's talking about now. You looking up madness? I, I yeah, I have encountered it, but it's never been a. It never really got me on my playthrough. I uh, get it now. I can see how I can get people though. Yeah, I don't have a clue. I don't, I don't think you've ran into it yet. Bruh, that AOE Scarlet Rod is just nutty. Yeah, the main one that sticks out in my mind is Rot and Death Blight. That's the two that kept getting me <laughs> on my first playthrough. And it's not actually the Scarlet Rot that's killing you with these guys. It's the the weird attack damage that's coming out of that. Yeah, the tick or whatever. Yeah. Scarlet Rot's just a buildup that happens on it. Oh my lord. Keep spamming your range, buddy. I got hit by a piece of lightning again. Oh good, we'll go this way now. Yeah, there's now one time on spamming the, uh, rage. Yeah. There's one time on that boss, I ain't kidding you, the one you're fighting right there, he he did the holy bolt attack on me three times in a row. Yeah, I saw that a minute ago. He he literally did that to me a minute ago. Oh. Yeah, <laughs> that irritated that irritated me. I'm just like, come on, man. <laughs> you know, when I when I last said I got struck by lightning and I was like, Yeah, he just keeping spamming that thing at me now. Yeah. Oh, that's like, that I couldn't it. put it into words what it was. Yeah, I got you. Makes sense. <laughs> I think being right up on him causes him to do his little blood slash. Or not blood slash, but his attack. I rolled into his attack real badly. The holy attack isn't bothering me too bad. I'm I'm out running it often now. It's all this moving around with him that's bothering me. Man, he almost got me with that. I uh, he he definitely did because I I didn't have anywhere to run after that thing. Oh. Man, at one time I got him close. It's, it's it's literally that same scenario where you get him down to that one spot and then it's you're right back at like fighting him again like this. <laughs> right. It uh, eats you alive too because you're like, oh, I know I can do it. <laughs> He's just doing stuff out, like crazy on you. That half health that all these bosses have, man, they just get nutty. Mm-hmm. I will not argue with that because there's a lot of them I could talk about that that just ooh. Why am I crouched? <laughs> fat ah! fingered. I, I fat finger that sometimes. I don't even use crouch. Can I disable crouch? <laughs> right. Who who crouches in Dark Souls? <laughs> right. I'm still not jumping much either. I kind of would like, I think it'd be fun just to roleplay as like an assassin trying to run around and do stealth stuff. I mean, you can't do it on boss, of course, but just for fun, goofing off on like a random player. Not going to help you in bosses, but. <laughs> yeah, they, they added the stealth feature in there, but didn't really like do much with it. Like it, it doesn't feel like the stealth is a big deal in this game. Just yet. It, it. It can help if you do use it, but at the same time, it's. You get a jump on one mob, but there's like five other mobs that's ready to jump on you, so. <laughs> Ow.
Do the booty slam. Keep doing the booty slam. Let's go. Give me another booty slam. Just to plead its health to zero, indeed. Obvious solution, if it has no health, it can't kill you. Cardboard box provides zero protection against sledgehammer. This is true. Cause I'd like to get another slash in there while he's doing the booty slam stuff, but uh, that AOE is just a bit much. Cool if fat, fat moves like an Ash of War or something, the butt slam with the rots going out everywhere. Oh, yeah, That'd it would be, be great dope. PvP. Even like if you had his weapon and did the butt slam or something, you know? Yeah, just flip to it just to use that move. <laughs> I don't want to waste my shield. Come on. No, nope, wasted it. Dang. You know, you've made me draw more attention to me thinking, how many times did I actually waste that bubble now? <laughs> In five. Well, yeah, you don't want it to go to, like, a weak attack, you know what I mean? Yeah, and, I, and I'm pretty sure that happened to me quite often. <laughs> you want it to go to, like, a big slam, you know? I love rolling the, the holy damage, but like, it's so annoying how often he uses it. Right. Yeah, I'm watching him. And there's the third. He didn't do a third one. That was that. I thought that was three in a row. Almost. Maybe he did. I wasn't really counting. Gosh. Here we go. I just back up a little more and let him do his little holy attack again. Just one of them has to hit me too is what's so sad. And yeah, chain locks you those bolts. Got loop. him. Heck yeah, man. Good job. Oh Lord. I did not expect to have any difficult with any of the urge trees. I'm hoping he's the strongest. Holy uh, crap. He gave I'm 91k. Yeah, I think that's the hardest one uh, that I had trouble with too, if I believe right. Bruh, he's got to be because he just did. I just got 91k off of him. 91k off of killing him, bro. That's awesome. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Peace.